Hey guys, so before we start, we were trying really hard to upload Kuroko's last game, the movie reaction, and it's been really tough. Yes, what yeah. is it? No, you said... Like, fourth, fifth time, I don't know. And it's a big file, and re-rendering and going back and forth, back and forth, it's literally taking like almost two days. There is the external link, it's gonna be down below. So, yes. hope you guys enjoy. We can't go back in time to dress up the same way we did. <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> not, sorry. Link is down at the description below, so don't forget, click on it below, and enjoy! Yes, enjoy. Hey ballers, this is Kim Che! And Tofu! Yeah! yeah. Alright guys! This is officially, all right? We keep saying, all right, this is the last one, last one, because the last episode was the OVA, which felt like it was the continuation of the season. Yes. So it was technically kind of like the last one, but this is the last video, last one for our channel. As a movie, too. As, yeah, as a movie. On top of it. On top of that. So the only one who can beat Kuroko reaction is the movie. All right, guys. All right. The hype. All right. It lifted up. That movie was not just great. I freaking loved it. Me it was too. amazing. It had everything that we all wanted, right? Yes. Yeah. Plus, plus added more things that we didn't even voice but thought about and things that went beyond our imagination that they freaking did perfectly. They like put everything on there like, oh, the fans will like it if we do this. The fans will want this. They will want this, so they put everything in the movie. They gave us this dessert of gourmet <sighs> buffet. Right? It's like yes. the last dessert was like a buffet of dessert. Yes. They Damn. gave us everything. Man, there were so many cool, awesome moments in here. Kise in the zone. Yeah. Whoa, he's the strongest player. He's the strongest player in the team when he's in the zone. Dude, even the way he moved. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. But it's very, very short time. It's very short. It's very short. It's probably for like three possessions. Yes. So that's like, well, probably like in a minute. One Is it minute. One minute? Yeah, probably only, he can only do it for three possessions. But he did, he gave it his best. He did. Man, do you ever see that, man? Gomes, Generation of Miracles, like sacrificing each other for the other person. That's like something you never see and they freaking made it happen. Yeah, they're like, dude, I trust you. Okay, all right, you take care of him. Freaking Aomine passing the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Even Kurgo's like, man, you suck at passing. <laughs> Damn. You never expected any of this would happen. Yeah, that was actually funny. Aomine's like, man, I, I, could, I could take these guys on myself. Yeah. But it's like, ah, all right, fine. <laughs> man. Dude, that ending part. So, Kagami, that was his last game of Satan. That's yes, it. Yes, he's going to America now. So, yeah. He's, so, yeah. Huh? Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just saying that the part where Alex was talking about, that was that was supposed to be for drafting Kagami. Yes. Yeah. Drafting him. He's going to a really good high school that he'll be for sure going to NBA after. Um, I don't think it works like that unless he's like LeBron or something. But then he's going to have to go high school and then he's going to have to go to NCAA college. And then NBA. Unless unless he's a LeBron. If he's literally a LeBron, he can go from high school to the NBA straight. He's really good. I think he will. He's really good, but he's come on. He's the best out of them all. He is the best. He, he is, he's really good, but just like what Kagami said, he's not. he realized when he played against the Jabberwocks, that he has, he has so far ways to go, right? And yeah, the yeah, reason that he won was because of Kuroko, was because of Generation Miracle. And that's the thing, like, at the airport, he's like saying, like, man, I became this big. Like, I became who I am today because of you. Yes. Like, and when he shook Kuroko's hand, he's like, he probably felt like such a little baby hand, you know? It's yeah. like, man, this guy has such a little soft baby hand. He's been passing this whole time passing this whole time with, you know, mm -hmm. being a shadow. It's like, man, with those little tiny hands. <laughs> I just imagine, like, these little doll hands that go, Ooh. Like a girl's oh. hands. It's like your hands. It's like me shaking your hands. It's like, man, oh. you've been passing the ball with those little soft hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Wow. So, also with the Akashi, right? So, his split personality. So, he always, always had a split personality, but what he did, he just got rid of one. For, all, for good. For good, It yeah. was for good, so instead no more coming back. Putting, yeah, instead of just putting him on the bench, he's just gone. He left and he gave him a parting gift so that he could just master the Emperor Eye by himself. 
Uh, because it was incomplete because they were split apart. So yes. they had the half of the power and he had half of the power. But yes. if one person sacrifices, then all that ability will transfer over to the real Akashi. Yes. And that's how he became, had the true Emperor Eye. Yes. Damn, I didn't know that guy had a, a Emperor Ash. Uh, uh, Nash, Nash, she had a Emperor, Emperor Eye. I, dude, I, okay, so I could see it because... He was acting like Akashi the whole game. The whole time that he was shown throughout this movie, it was just like his personality, his attitude, the way that he was able to control the players right away and get them down to their senses and listen to him. Mm -hmm. You could just tell. I thought she saw Emperor Eyes in America or something. <laughs> but I guess he has the Emperor Eye, that's why. Damn, dude. Emperor Eye versus Emperor Eye. Yeah. So his own was complete, too. Mm -hmm. Man. But it couldn't be Akashi. No, they couldn't. Nope. Nope. Akashi's true form. This is his real self. No more split personality. Mm -mm. Damn. He he fixed the mental illness playing basketball. He did. He cured it. He cured it. He cured it. Yeah. So he should be thankful. Yes. Damn. He should be. No more going therapy and stuff for split personality. No. Damn. He cured it on the court. Oh, this movie. Holy cow. I also like the animation for this. Um... You know, since it is the movie quality, you see a little bit of change. You see a little difference. Like, the yes. face or Kisa's hairstyle looks a lot different. All of their hairstyles is Actually, different. all of theirs. Yeah, because Midorima's own look, like, They're really down. They're all, like, down. super flat. It's like, yeah, it's more flat, right? Yeah. Yeah, but hey, at least you got your... Uh... Murasaki Bara hair tie back. Yeah, Murasaki Bara hair tie, yeah. Honestly, I wasn't expecting too much from it. Like, I was just... I was, like... I wasn't super excited like you were for this movie, but watching it, it's freaking good. I actually really, really Come enjoyed on, it. Gom I'm impressed. I'm actually really impressed by the movie. Come on, Gomes playing together with Kagami and Kuroko. Come on, how could you not be impressed by that? I don't know. I just thought it was going to be kind of stupid or something. Uh, and I, you know, I eat my words right now because it was really good. They could, it's, it could have been a hit or miss. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. true. But they hit, hit everything on the point, man. They hit it so because I love the way they even pushed the flashbacks again, showing the past how Generation of Miracle was when Kisa and Aomine is arguing with each other. Yes. You know? And by the way, Momoi, she's going to cry in every episode it now. It's so funny because they joked about it too. Because yeah. like I'm like, oh my gosh, she's crying. And then she's like, oh, why am I crying so much now? Yeah, she's <laughs> so crying so much. Yeah. It's funny how they joke and make things so light. Yeah, Instead yeah, yeah. of like making it always like super dramatic, it's like, okay, we'll do this, but mm -hmm. then make you laugh. Yep, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why that's why I'm glad they brought the the past generation of miracle, you know, flashbacks too. Yeah. Because it, it just shows like, man, this is how well they work together. This is how fun these these guys are together, you know? Yes, this is how much they've grown. Yeah. And Kuroko's the movie that they did, they did so well with like the hype of it. Yeah. Like they brought out the best for each person because what they did was they actually showed spotlights for each generation of miracles, you they know? Did. They gave the spotlight for Kise opening up the zone, Murasaki Bara, which, by the way, that guy, he was a softie. He just didn't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, he didn't want to. So all those times he wants to say, I crush you, I'll crush you or something. That's why it wasn't fun for him, because he couldn't go all out. Yeah, he that's... was always, like, restricting himself. And when you restrict yourself, yes, it can start to get boring. Yeah, yeah. So now that's why he was having so much fun. He was, like, smiling, and he could go all out. But then I didn't think they were actually going to end Murasaki Bara with a broken arm. I know. That's so sad. It's like, oh, I'm having fun now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, this is what happens when you... Little, you let loose a little too much. Bad luck for him. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, but what's so funny is like after his arm's broken, he acts like he's, nothing's matters. Like, dude, that's your basketball arm. You know what's gonna happen when you go back to Yosen? Yosen's gonna get. Yosen's gonna kill you. The manager, the coach, everyone's gonna kill him for breaking his arm doing the doing the thing because it's gonna affect his uh practice and the next inner high. To every single detail, this movie just gave it to us. To Midor, they they made us love the fact that you know what? Because all this time, Kuroko, it, it was hit or miss for Midorima whether he gets a lucky item or he doesn't. But then they gave it to us. They're like, you know what? Today's lucky. It's actually his luckiest day. Yes, they we gotta see him on his luckiest day. We gotta see uh, Murasaki Bara enjoy basketball and go all out for the first time, smiling. And we also got to see 
He said, go in the zone for the first time. Perfect copy. We got to see that. We got to see Kuroko shine at the very end of the game that we thought was going to happen at the last episode of the end of the season. We got to see him dribble and shoot. Yep. We, uh, he did score points. He yeah. did score a point. And also, on top of that, we saw Akashi still be Akashi, you know, controlling. Uh, not really controlling, but making sure the team's, like, coming up with strategies. Yes. You know, things like that. Akashi, every character was still true to themselves even when they're together. together. So, that you know, to balance that and, you know, because what we saw with the past generation of Miracle was so villain-like and we haven't really seen them synergize together. Mm -hmm. But then when we see them synergize together, it works so well. Also, at the same time, keeping their characters, like, consistent. Yes. So that's what I really, really liked about it, uh, about this, was that it was very consistent with the character, but also it synergized really well. Which came out first, Dragon Ball Super or Kuroko? The Tournament of Power. How? Come on, The man. two together? Ka, ka, ka. <laughs> ka, ka, ka you, all you have to do is just put ka, 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 ka on that part. Ka, ka, ka. And then, you know the last part, Goku and Frieza? Yeah. Yeah, right? Ike! And then or the whole, everyone on the stand is like, go! Yeah. Yeah, so the whole bench is like saying, go! And go. then it's, you know, Goku and Frieza. But there's <laughs> Aumine and Kagami. It is! Yeah, right? it was. Boom, finish. <laughs> hey, you know what? Like I said, dude, even if it's like similar or it's very cliche, I thought even though it was cliche, he knew how to really, really, let's say, um, how do you say this? You know how like a K-pop band, right? K-pop boys group or girl yes. group, each member of the K-pop has its own fan base. Yeah. What the author did well was to make sure that each fan base got what they want. Oh, yes, yes. He, yes. Right? Everybody is happy. Yeah, everyone's happy because I feel like he hit all those points. It's because he made the characters so unique and so individual in, in their own separate ways that it created a fandom for who's the best of their own generation of Miracle was, right? Yes. And he, I think in this movie, he hit all those points. And make sure that every single fandom was happy with how it, uh, with their, um, I don't know, I guess, favorite characters. One thing, though, I'm surprised. Were you a little bit disappointed or no, you're just happy be that the people on the bench didn't get to play? Oh, the bench? I think it was, I, for me, it was okay that the bench didn't play. They made it satisfying. They made it, they really made it satisfying because, you know, we saw the Generation of Miracles plays. We haven't, we've seen Hugo play before. We've yes. seen them play together. But then we haven't seen the Generation of Miracles come back. And that's what we've been wanting mm -hmm. for for a really long time. So the only way we were wanting it was by watching the flashbacks when they were playing in middle school. But then now we get to see in present day. So it's like, you know what? I love Hugo. Like, I love Takao. Mm -hmm. Like, coming in Satan, you know? But at the same time, it's like, you know what? Let's give this whole thing to the Generation of Miracle. Let's leave it as that. So you feel like Takao, how Takao said, when he's like, you know, I'm a little frustrated because they didn't let me come in and do this part. But you know what? It still feels good. Yeah, because it's conflicted. Because yeah. their superpower, what they can do, their uniqueness, is taken away because Akashi and Midorima can do it better. Yes. You know, so it's like, damn it. So we have no use because why not just put Agashi and Midorima instead of us, you know? Yeah. But they're winning. They're they are. Winning. Yeah, they're winning. So um, I, I, I'm I, okay with it. I'm actually okay with it that uh, the bench didn't come in. Me too. Uh, because it is really hard if you think about it because Kagami and Kuroko is benching too at the same time. So it's... It's tough to actually go to the third string. Yeah, and get in. Yeah, going to the first string, second string, third string. I thought that the final moment was we're going to be seeing everybody in the zone. We're going to see, you know, Akashi's zone. Or we're going to be seeing the second door open. For Aumine? From, for Aumine or something. Oh, yeah. You know? But instead, the final moment was Akashi becoming, just losing his other self. And that was the final. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the final. Yeah, the final, well, the final big, biggest transformation, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because there's always one biggest transformation before the climax, you know? And that's, what, that's why I thought it was going to be the zone number, the true zone, or everyone's going to get in the zone. But There just wasn't enough time. 
Yeah, what what one minute? That's why you would think like, man, is this the part where Kuroko everyone's gonna be flying in space or you know, <laughs> be doing that? But no, nah, it wasn't. That was unbelievable. It was. It was. It was amazing. It was amazing. I can just imagine this movie played in the theaters and just everyone just going crazy on. This. There are so many parts. There's so many little detail parts on it that will make you go nuts. You know. Akashi saying talking crap in English, mm. you know, say one liners, right? Yeah. Then Akashi's old self coming back, you know, and then be, bringing back the I am absolute, <laughs> you know. Yes. Uh, Aumine and Kise working together. Kise becoming like Aumine, so it's two Aumines. Oh. Kise, Kise, perfect copy of the zone, you know. Yeah. There's so many moments in here that would get everybody like off their seats. So that's why I think this movie was amazing. I see why people hyped it up. Yes. I am not disappointed at all. At all. Yes. If anything, I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad too. And I can see why we were told to also watch these two separately mm -hmm. and watch OVA first over the movie. Because I yeah. think the movie was so hyped that if we saw the OVA first, I feel like it might have been... Oh, OVA last? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If we saw the OVA last, it might have been kind of a different feeling. I think it was better this way. I liked the movie ending just because it had a farewell. Yes, and it was like, that's it. That's it, yeah. Wow, man. I did not expect that, though, man. Kagami gonna leave. That was his last game at Satan. Mm -hmm. Man. That's it for Satan. That's it. <laughs> They're done. No more. No more. No more championships anymore. No. Yeah. Uh, that was sad though, cause Kuroko, that's his friend. He's going by. <laughs> you oh, know. Sorry. No. Yeah. No, that's true. And I like the way the Gom, you know, treated it. Was you know they're like, cause you gotta think about it. All the Gom wants to go against Satan again, but yes. after Kagami's gone, it's not gonna be the same. They're not gonna be able to do it. But everyone's like, you know, we support it. You know, good luck. Of course, Almin is like, dude, why not me? <laughs> right? Yeah. The Almin should be in there. Yes. But that's why they gave it to us because all of them wanted to go against Satan and Kagami and Kroko. That's why they said, this is our parting gift to you. Damn. One last time. One last time. That's right. Okay, that's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. So they did give it to us. They gave it to us. We just couldn't see it. Yeah, unfortunately. We just couldn't watch it. Man. <laughs> It probably the score would have been 100 to 5 anyway. Yes. And then it goes back into the same way before. It's like the only way, And then Satan just gets so hurt. <laughs> and then they like freak out. I, I, I don't want to play basketball anymore. And then that's when like Generation Miracle starts splitting. I was like, man, this is the best they got. And then Kuroko Season 2. <laughs> I don't Not know. Not Season 2, Part 2. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah. All right. Before, before we end this, favorite character. Oh, favorite? Oh, yeah. God. How could you do this to me? It, it's either going to be Aumane mm -hmm. or Murasaki Barao with his hair up. Because I like that he changed. Oh, it's Aumane. Aumane? Aumane, Phil. Yeah. What about you? <sighs> yeah, I got to go with Aumane. Aumane, too? Yeah, dude. Oh. I don't know why, man. Aumane is so badass. Even in the movie, he's just so cool. He just keeps it he's cool. He's so cool. Like, ah. Uh. I, but honestly, at the same time, I don't know. For me, it goes back and forth because also I love Midorima, man. Mm. Midorima, so that guy's low key super funny, man. <laughs> he He's is. so funny. You remember on the club nightclub scene mm. when everyone came to fight? Everyone came like they're just caught off the street where it's the Midorima dressed like he was. He came in the club. <laughs> he was wear he was wearing a collared button up, nice sla slacky pants because everyone was wearing a hoodie. Oh, really? A hoodie, like, they just got off, like, from the street or something. But Midorima came, like, he was all dressed up for the nightclub. Because Midorima always dresses like that. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He doesn't always dress he up always like he's dressed going up to the club. Nice. The only time he doesn't dress up like that is if he's in his basketball uniform. Oh, okay. Well, I don't care. Midorima, <laughs> is, he's super low-key funny. He just always prepared to go to the club. <laughs> yeah, he's always prepared to go to the club, man. Uh, yeah, Midorima's so funny. Maybe the reason why I won't pick Aumina is just because everyone loves it. So I'm going to pick the underdog here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a lot of big fan base for Midorima. I'm not sure. I know there should be a big fan base for Kisei. Kisei? Mm. 
Yes and yeah, yes and no. I think there's certain pe- community that likes the type. See, that's what I'm saying. The author did really well with everyone's unique character. That is, it's like what everyone likes. You know. Yeah. Who do you like? Yeah. Who do you like? So I mean, I, I honestly, I think. Every time I see Midorima, he puts a smile on my face, man. He always, every time he talks, he always have to do this, you know. He, he's cool. I, I loved Akashi. Mm-hmm. Akashi too, because I loved his character development. I love his change, how uh, it was because of a split personality and all that. I loved Akashi about that too, but you know me. I like the funny guys. You do. Yeah, I like the funny guys. So um, Kagami, I, I, I liked him too. Uh, he was just really OP. Yes. Kagami was just too OP. Way too OP. Yeah, he's too OP. And I like Kuroko too because uh, we see a lot of uh, his character changes. You know, his when he gets angry, you know, that little cute little face goes, yes. goes angry. It's like, oh, you little boy, oh, you're angry, Kuroko. Don't be angry, <laughs> you know. But he's the one that brought everybody together. He's the one that changed everybody. Mm-hmm. He He's just, he is number one. He is number one. That's why they made him number one. Yep, yep, he is number one. Now, who would who would have won MVP for Vorpal Swords? MVP. Oh. Nobody, because everyone did well. Everyone yeah. had their own spot. They did. Yeah. Because Kagami did it. I, you know, they balanced it correctly. They did. Yeah, they they pretty they balanced it. Maybe just give it to Kuroko, dude. <laughs> Seriously, just give it to Kuroko. You know. Yeah. But. Yeah, damn. That was uh, Kuroko's Basketball Last Game movie. That was amazing, guys. We loved it. Loved it. Loved very, it. Very, very, very good. I just hope there's just another movie that comes out or some kind of over or something. I just don't want this. Ah, I didn't want this to end. But uh, we definitely had a, a great journey, great time with Kuroko's Basketball. Definitely, I would have to say, like, this sports anime is unique in its own way. Yes entertaining in its own way so um you know i'm not gonna i don't think kuroko for me is something that i can compare it with other sports anime i agree yeah just because it's its own it's like its own shonen sport so um kuroko is just one unique stuff for me so i loved it yeah i i agree i really do yeah 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 so cool all right guys thank you guys so much uh don't go away next we do have prison school coming up we also will be doing Haikyuu, right? Uh, yes. And uh, yeah, so th- those are things will be on our channel. So we will see you guys soon for that. Oh, and also, if you guys ever do want to check out our Patreon page, it's down at the description link below. We are doing Fate Zero at the moment for Patreon exclusive uh, on there for you to check out. So guys, thank you guys so much. Once again, have a great day. And we will see you guys next time. Yes, see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.